respect your stories about taking pride in what you do how you empower yourself and how you respect whatever you choose to do in life and today i'm really really excited to share with you an amazing woman who her name is mary and she is a milliner and atelier um she has been a poet a painter a government official a dj a media nomad and she's been wearing many different hats she's also making amazing hats and more than that she works on what she desires to do she loves her profession she loves what she does and her passion shines in all the work that she shares including what i'm wearing is designed by her so an amazing lady and i'd love to welcome mary oh so welcome to my atelier so this is a really small place that holds a lot of big 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 dreams so come on in wow so look at the amazing people she's wow. designed for and it's all amazing amazing people a little not black and white a colorful depiction of what the journey is like so it all started here in shepherd's bush right so this is where i go to factory school my uh, this is my teacher who teach me all the millinery skills and in london school of fashion and this is my photo shoot in august and this is my show my launching show beautiful amazing woman that does all the modeling and shows from awa trust your gut feeling mm. and the reason why i started all this is because uh the education business this work yeah and and overnight this just boom gone and i need to have something moving so i just picked up something and started doing and because i have to go to a special ladies luncheon they have to wear a hat and then i said oh I, i'm not happy because mm-hmm. the, the other thing is you have to be not happy about things to make uh to, to figure things, out what what you have you to happy. figure out that this is not working for you this is not working for you hmm this works for me uh, and uh-huh. you have to have a very clear list of what works for you and what not and if that doesn't work for you you make it happen If that guy oh, okay. doesn't work for you, you make another guy happy. <laughs> Sadly, that's not the case for me. <laughs> oh, oops. But likewise, you have to make things work for you. So at that point, I just have to go to a ladies' lunch and that's it. And I just to get ahead for myself. Mm. And I'm not happy with what's offering in the store. Then I start making it, and then I say, oh, I have to learn. And the minute I start pick up the scissors and snip into a piece of cloth. I know that this is the right one because and this is what she creates. Well, thank you so much. This so this is creates. from uh, this is Sabrina uh from my uh, capsule collection we'll go to that a bit later. Mm-hmm. But is that a uh, club cheering voice that brings me back to all the good memories when mom on Saturday instead of candy store she brings me to tailors. Oh, your mom loved to create. Oh, uh, she after dinner she would just open up the long dining table and spread out all the patterns and then start cutting clothes and doing clothes for herself. And to up the level, she goes to tailors and do suits oh. of jam shams and little things outside in and pair it with, you know, like you don't have to be a legitimate designer or writer to Creative. You could you could be creative in every little detail as you wish, and and you know what that feeling comes from is when you respect and value you have what to respect you do. In your you have to gain full control. Yeah. Be it so little, you gain whatever you could have. It could be a turf. It could be a spot. Okay. But you take you take t- t- you, you just take full control of whatever ownership size. of what you yeah. own whatever size that is. Yeah. And you and you do the best you, you can. And you pour your heart and your soul in it. And people at the other end will know it. They I love it. it. You you pour your heart and soul. I just love the way you say that. And I can see it in this. She Whoa. poured her heart and soul in it. Can I help you to? Yes, please. Oh, yes. Yeah. So 
This is a piece that I, I make uh, for my launching show with a designer label called Nani at uh, 2018 when I was just a milliner. Uh, out of nothing, I just became a milliner. And then another designer sees something in me that I haven't seen myself and said, Oh, you want to do a show with me, a launching show? I said, No! <laughs> yeah! Why not? Why not? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it, it was in uh, May of 2018. May 2018. Yeah, and, and then I realized that, oh, but you haven't really had enough uh, professional knowledge. So I went to LCF, yeah, the School, School of, of Fashion, fashion. Okay. in June. How do, you, how do you maintain this business and continue with it? And, and um, tell me something about how you get your clients. I think I have to go to a to go out upfront because nowadays you have to make use oh, yes. of the social media. Mm-hmm. So it would be the most effective and cost effective way to do it. Mm-hmm. So the first thing, the my best gig is I sit down in every network and every occasion and I show up in all my pieces and, and tell the whole world to say that I'm the best model. <laughs> because if I can make it work so look at me. Anyone can make it work. Anyone can exactly. make it work. So exactly. I, I'm not a five nine model mm-hmm. weighing nine, 90 pounds. I now I my weight is almost the same as my age. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and, and like look it. at my minute figure. And yeah. I'm just like everybody. Yeah. You want to show something and want to hide something. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's not that. We have to lose weight. No. Or have to to, to, to grow to taller. Fit into to a, fit into something. You don't need to do that. No. Is we have to make something that works, works for us. Yes. Exactly. So these are just I love tools. That. Despite all of that, she got on a flight, came back to Hong Kong, her home <gasps> town, and reached the hospital. And while she's on the drip in the hospital, she confirms with London School of Fashion that she's going to be there. Right. So when you talk about motivation and courage, I think for me it's a very simple equation. At that moment when I am on IV and with blood dripping into my body to save my poor little sick life, for me the equation is simple. Should I just cancel everything? I have to book a new flight, book new hotels, and then I have to move from the summer semester maybe to the fall semester and put everything postponed for three months. Or just hop on the plane two weeks from now. For me, it's hop on the plane. As simple as that. So you, know, you need a lot of courage to do that. I think that's a rather dramatic experience with I have to push things. But for less dramatic, it's the same. You have to weigh the balance. So you either prefer doing this or that. And you weigh upon it. So you find the, the, the path that works for you. Mm-hmm. And it's not about, oh, how much courage I have to muster, okay. how much motivation I have to have. Is you see the pure facts and see which thing works. And for us creative people, people say, oh, you're artists, you are just loose, you're just wild, you're just crazy. But no, we have to bear the facts all the time. We have to get all the checks and balances too, right? Mm-hmm. And we have to be realistic and we have to be grounded at the same time. And for me, is I have to weigh and check the boxes and see which works for me. But for other people looking from outside, it seems that oh, you're just courageous and motivated and mm-hmm. just how wild. did you do it? <laughs> how do you do it? Yeah. So that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going. You don't stick and get attached to one thing. But when you your like um, passion inspires you to do something different, and this is what you do. And I'm and I'm like in awe. Of Mary, because it takes a lot of. I mean, yes, I know you say don't say courage, but I say it takes a lot of courage to do this, and and I respect that, and 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 you do everything handcrafted, which is fantastic. I mean, everything is handmade, hand stitched, and all your work, your love, your passion goes into everything that you create, and I'm like in. I'm and so for happy. Passion it, yeah. and love. I want to add a little note is Yes. Yeah, for people who always say, How do you do it? And, and, and where, where does that passion and courage come from? I think it really comes from the admiration for yourself. Yeah. The love for yourself. 
Respect yourself. Because love yourself. at yes. the end or the beginning of the day, who's your best friend? Yourself. Yourself. Yeah. yourself. You're, who, you're your best you, friend. Who is your fanfare? Who is your supporting team? Who is the best friend? Who knows you knows? It's yourself. Exactly. Yeah, I always love and admire myself. And the, the thing that I say most, really most, when I'm doing things, or when I am not doing things, or when I'm figuring how things are done, is I'm a genius. <gasps> I love that. I'm I a love genius. That. Whenever yeah. I, I just break something, or just, oh, I solved a mystery, or really after 10 attempts, or 20 attempts, or keep forgetting and looking into the notes that I jot along the way and figure that oh, this is just like a scripture. I have no idea what the hell am I writing about. I have absolutely no idea what this girl is thinking. But still I just crack and crack and crack. Or maybe find another way apart from this to make it work. You need to love yourself. You need you to need admire to yourself. Yeah. You have and to, you need to respect you, what you your talents. Yeah, your and own, you, your, you really your, need to give a pat to yourself. Mm. Embrace yourself, really. Yeah. And if it's a bad day, just give yourself a big pat and say, it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's good. It's okay if it's not working today. It's going to work tomorrow. It's going to work tomorrow. And, and it's going to work some in the future and, and it keeps going and so what what do you see your future looking like my future would be anywhere i could be anything i want to be i could be in any place that i want to be when i see fit i don't see a particular world that i would be uh, with things changing mm. so i think all you could control is just is yourself is your relationship with yourself Self. It's just not me, myself, but things that other than me, the yeah. other self. I think we all know that there must be something just apart from this vessel. Exactly. It's the vessel and yourself and how you work with it. Exactly. Just gain full control of it or a good relationship with it. Have a good pep talk with it and love yourself and embrace yourself. And good friends. Oh, Mary, I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. And wish you all the best for Nelly Hats. And Respect Your Story is all about respecting who you are, what you do, and to value and take pride in anything that you want to do in life. Live your dream. Achieve it. Mary has proved that. So, thank you for being here today.